turning back. Two kids named Jack and we burn in a sack. Yeah, I sing and I rap and they clap. Selling out shows, put the O on the map. Let's go on the grass, pull out so we hold it down. Out on the west coast, got a red ghost, staring at my ceiling. What's up? It's Maggie from Pop Entertainment and I'm here with Jack and Jack. Hello, hello. How are you guys today? Very good. So How are you? I'm pretty good. It's hot out. It's hot. Very I'm hot. sweating. I'm Don't jimmy. Don't complain to the night though. <laughs> So last time we talked to you guys was in Philly at your headlining tour. How have you guys been doing since then? Amazing, you know, we made a lot of new music since then. And yeah, just kind of doing the same thing though, chilling. Of course, yeah, our new album's coming out very soon. We've been working really hard post-tour to get that together. And yeah, everything just feels great. Everything feels like it's ready to explode and we're just yeah. excited. Life's awesome. So la like right before or right after we were going to talk to you guys, you were heading out to Europe for yeah. your yes. tour. Mm -hmm. yes. How was that? Europe. That was amazing. Europe that was crazy. actually the second round, right? That was yeah. Europe round two. It was nice because we kind of like got a feel for Europe in November when we went, and then when we went back in March, it was like we knew the place, and it was so much fun. So I loved Europe, and the fans always show so much love there. It's great yeah, and we got to hit like a bunch of new cities too that we yeah. didn't hit the first time around. Totally. So, like it was amazing. Yeah, Spain specifically is like my favorite country in the world. <laughs> we played beach volleyball one day in San Sebastian. Oh yeah. We got really sunburned against some locals. <laughs> it was a yeah, good time. It was a good time. So what were the new places that you guys went to? Uh, let's see, we went to Norway this time around. We went, like, Oslo was Sweden, a uh, Sweden. Uh, we went Denmark. to Denmark, um, yes. Copenhagen was sick. Um, Great show. Hmm, hmm. It's so hard to name off the top of the head, but it's like, a lot Europe of new places. is Portugal. an amazing spot. Portugal is amazing. Yeah, Portugal. There's so many different cultures Switzerland. in Europe, which is so cool because, like, in North America, it's kind of like... Everywhere you go, it's the same language. The but same, in Europe, yeah. like, the next day, they're speaking a new language. The right. next day, they're, you're speaking a new language. Right, so, like, right. we learn, I guess... More, we become more cultured on the road internationally than we would in the like in the U.S. market. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a good time. It's Definitely. So was there a language barrier during meet and greets when you guys were meeting fans? I think it depended on the country. You know, definitely. I definitely noticed some countries uh, had a lot better English, just typically as a population, than than other countries. Like, like Spain. You know, a lot of the Sp uh, Spanish speakers were pretty good at English. You know, mm -hmm. I think they learned it in school. But then let's say. In Germany, like, you know, a lot of the German girls didn't necessarily speak English at all. Like, maybe a little bit, but, like, I think for the most part, we could get by and we could communicate right. and we all knew the basics of the other one's yeah. language. And I think, like, everybody knows the reason that they're there, you know? Like, everybody, like, we're just here to have a good time yeah. and we all, like, you know, hug is, like, a universal. Mm -hmm. just, Everyone hugs. What's up? Hey. I love you. I love you. <laughs> and, like, a picture is just smile. So, it was easy. I we learned I how to say I love you in, like, a lot of languages. Yeah. Yells good eye. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Actually, yeah, we know that. That's sweet. But yeah, good time. Is there a big difference between American fans and fans in foreign countries? Um, you know, I would say it's more like if it's the first time you're in the market, because the first time we went to Europe, I think it's since it was the first time we were over there, they were just like extra, extra hype. Mm -hmm. And then, and then like in the U.S., you know, we had already been around a few times. Right. And so like the only, and the only thing here. I would attribute to the the difference in energy would be like us. It's just a new market. You know, it's mm -hmm. their first time seeing us. Right. But I think uh, in terms of the shows, you know, the U.S. fans are just as crazy as anywhere else, oh, except yeah. for South America. South America, <laughs> I put them on a pedestal above everyone They're like else. They're like insane. Spain too. A lot of the Spanish-speaking countries. I don't know what it is, but like they Very just go passionate. hard. They yeah. have passion, really. Now, talking about other countries and coming together, since the Olympics are going on right now, mm -hmm. what's been one of your favorite events to watch? Oh my god. I mean, Simone Biles has been. I love her. Killing the, killing the floor game. Yeah, oh her my god. Her routines are wild. She's just, how many, like 19 gold medals already this no, year? Like, like that. I, I, I told think you like, that once. It's like six now, I think. Right? Six? six? I think it's just six. this year? Yeah, just I this year. I think it's six. That's insane. Wow. Michael Phelps is obviously a beast to watch, but I love, like, I, I don't know why I find it, like, almost funny I really respect the sport and but like I can't help but laugh when I watch it's synchronized swimming like do you know they can't touch the ground yeah that's what is so that hard my like, mind. the most insane abs and like they're like doing all these crazy tricks with their feet and the way they like prance in the water too is like really cool <laughs> curling, just, curling like, makes me laugh honestly. curling <laughs> like, what are you doing like are you like you can just be a sweeper <laughs> <laughs> but hey you know hey, they're in the Olympics, the Olympics. yeah they're you winning gold Okay, so we're at Hershey Park today. Yes. Have you guys been in the park, gone on any rides? No. We did last year, but not today. We're yeah. planning on going after our set, in between our set and Sean's set. We're going to try and hit, like, some of the big ones and make it back in time to catch Sean's set. Yes. But, yeah, we're excited. They said, like, they can just skip us to the front of the lines, which <laughs> is a great thing that I guess we only get on days like this. It's so a dream come true we're right stoked. there. That's, like, every kid's dream. <laughs> so, are you guys excited for the show tonight? So, so excited. Yeah. yeah, for the first time in Hershey Park. We have a live band, even though we've only been here twice. We didn't have a live band last time, so we have a live band this time. I'm really excited for all these, you know, Pennsylvania fans to, like, kind of see what's going on with our set. Yeah, and there's, like, so many people traveling from, like, you know, outward states, like, states that aren't even from here, like, mm. hours, driving hours. And so we're just, like, really appreciative of everybody coming to see us. And, you know, we're going to try and make it what it is labeled as, the show of the summer. It's going to be big. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, what do you think the biggest difference from your set last year to this year is going to be? Oh, definitely the biggest difference is the addition of a live band. Yes. 
last year we were just we just had a DJ and we're performing the track. And you know, shout out DJ Rupp, that was a hype set. Everyone <laughs> had a good time. But I think this year it's a lot more musical and I think adding the live instrumentation really I guess would get your average music listeners respect. You know, it's it's a lot more respectable of a set, I feel like, from a from a music lover standpoint. And I think, you know, our fans loved it with track and I think our fans love it with uh, the instruments, but I think it's more universal with the with the live band and I yeah. think really anybody can appreciate it. All the parents can appreciate it, everybody. So I think the the live instruments definitely just bring it up a notch. It's a lot cooler to see. Definitely. So there's a lot of different artists here today. Who got who are you guys excited to see? I'm excited oh, to see uh, Dea or I mean, we call her Grace, you know, yeah. that's her name. Grace but is the homie, but Dea, her stage name, Dea. she's a beast, and we watched her, you know, every night when she was opening for us in the U.S. on our tour, so but it's now she has really like, cool. She has, like, two or three hits since then that, like... Exactly. Sh- Don't let me down. She's got... She's still on the pretty. radio all the time. She's still look it. pretty. Hide away. Like, she's gonna blow and She's so dope. Like, away. she's I'm, just, like, a little sister. I'm nervous because we so have to go... We have to go after Dea, and then after Sabrina Carpenter, who are two, like, really, really strong acts, and I know we have the same vocal teacher as uh, Sabrina Carpenter, and, like, she's an amazing vocalist. I yeah, can't wait to, to see her. To. And then, of course, our buddy Sean, he's, like, a worldwide superstar out of nowhere. I don't know how that happened, but he's a beast, beast. and I cannot wait to see his set. One of the most awesome. talented kids ever. Yeah, I mean, everybody here today. The, we met these guys, uh, Harleston, I think. We met them at a party the other week, and they said yeah. they do they do a like what one of them like produce it. And I don't even know. Like we had a brief conversation with them, but I'm excited to see them and check out yeah. what their whole set's about. You Me know too. what I'm saying? And then uh, Alexi, she's the first one on. I think she's probably coming on soon. But we just met her today too. So I mean, every single act, I'm excited to see. Yeah. I know we have a meet and greet during. I think it's during Dea's, which I'm upset bad. about. Hopefully we can. But you'll be like right yeah, here. We'll be right here. Yeah. So hopefully we can. We'll be listening. Listen she's got that beautiful voice. But I'm excited for every single act. It's gonna be a beautiful day, beautiful show, very talented people. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good. Okay, so any upcoming surprises that you can tell us about? Oh yeah, we got a single drop in next month. Yes, oh, factually in September. in September. Factually in September. And Hopefully then, right around my birthday. Second one will be dropping in October. This mm-hmm. is the timeline that we're going for, and then the whole album in November. And November's a great month. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be yeah, awesome. Month. A lot of do- oh, you're born in November. <laughs> yeah. When's your November? birthday? Maybe it'll be on your birthday. November fifth. All right, we'll try and we're gonna try to remember. <laughs> no, but, uh, I'm really excited because all this new music is really where we've been putting all of our energy this past year, and I feel like our fans. Might feel like neglected because we haven't put out so much new yeah. content in the last year. But, You've been touring but realize everywhere. Why. Yeah, right. hey, we've been touring. You know, we've been really busy. But like, I think this of is, that. Yeah, just and change they'll it all. realize they'll realize why it took so long to stay here. The project, like the quality, is just on such another level than anything else Jack and Jack have put out. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I just said our names and third hey, person. Okay. <laughs> anything that it. we've put out in the past, and I'm just super excited because I think it's just going to really shock our fans and just shock the world. The people who might like know our name but don't really take us seriously. Yeah. I think it'll really, really surprise them. So I'm excited. So last but not least. Do you guys have a message for your fans? Of course. Uh, a, thank you for all your support. Thank you for being yeah. patient. We promise a lot of new content's coming, and it'll blow your minds. But outside of just us and your love for us and our love for you, stay Thank positive you. in your entire life. I mean, I know school's coming around. That's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. You're going to get an A-plus in every single category this Keep year. Keep grinding, okay? Yes, Keep grind. Keep going forward and just... And- Never be down on yourself. Just, you know, you, if you fall down, you got to get back up. You got to keep up. chugging. That's what life's about. You're going to be okay. I promise. And it's going to be a good year. Enjoy school and just enjoy life and just be beautiful like you already are. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so thank much. Thank you so much. Once again, Maggie from Pop Entertainment, and I'm here with Jack and Jack. Peace. Peace. You make me feel so sad away. So great. Hey, just come on. Hey, let's see. How can I explain the way you make me feel? It's like how a businessman feels after he makes a deal. Like how winning Super Bowls probably makes Tom Brady feel. And you're revved up, you're jumping insane for real. Someone help me take the wheel. Because we're moving so fast, my foot sucked to the dash. Can't hold back. And yeah, the people, they go talk and all the cameras go flash. But they ain't messing with our plan of attack. Because what we got good for